Hey, it's Chris Young. It's time for an RV buying guide. Today, I'm gonna to tell you what to look for when buying a used RV. Why should you buy a used RV? My buddy Ian did a awesome video explaining why, as well as some of the benefits of buying used. Down below, you'll see a little link to that video. Check it out because he did amazing. Today, we're gonna to walk through some RVs and I'm gonna tell you what to watch out for just between me and you before you do buy that used RV. So what do you say? Let's get going. Now, before I get started, let me tell you a little something real quick. At Camping World, we're not gonna put an RV out there that we know nobody's gonna want. More importantly, we're not gonna put one out there that's gonna put somebody in harm's way. But if you go to a different dealer, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, a private seller, you might end up finding or seeing something like this. Oh, good, good day, Mr. Scott, beam me up. Oh, now the first thing, if you get a chance to walk it, start outside. Start right up here at the hitch, the tank, and the battery box. What you wanna look for is, look to see if there's any rust or chipping, things missing on the frame, the tongue, does the coupler, does the latch pin work? Go check out the propane tanks. You can see how this one's rusted out. You wanna make sure that's something that, eh, I wanna talk about this if I'm buying it from a private seller. Check the battery box. Don't be afraid to take things off, remove things, and really get in there and take a look because you might be able to see what's known as delamination. Delamination is where the skin of the RV has moisture underneath and it starts bubbling up or bubbling off the RV. It can happen inside, it can happen outside. This one happens to be an aluminum sided, so you probably won't see the water damage out here, but you can look for indicators like if there's a lot of mold on the seals around the windows, does it look moldy there? Are there cracks? Because the roof, the windows, and the doors are where the water is going to come into the RV. And when you're looking at the seals of the RV too, check and see if there's any like caulk bubbling out. You'll see it, it just looks wonky. We're actually gonna take that RV and we're gonna clean that off and put new seal, new caulk on there. Because once again, we wanna make sure no moisture gets in that RV. Next, you want to get under the RV and take a look at not only the undercarriage, but take a look at the frame. Once again, you want to look for rust spots. Look at the jacks. Do they have rust on them? Do they actually operate? If they're hand cranks, you want to go through and hand crank each and every one to make sure they work. Yes, I know it's a lot of work, but there's something that you want to check. Better safe than sorry. But take a look all the way under. Look at the axles. Do they look rusted? Is there anything missing? Are there cords exposed? Is the piping busted? Just take a really good look and get under there. And you know, since I'm talking about the undercarriage, let's talk about the roof too, because that's another great spot. Climbing on top of an RV might be difficult, might not be something you want to do. So ask the seller to send you a video of the roof. Once again, you want to look for any cracks, holes. Is that caulk all bubbled up and nasty? Is it chipping away? Is the roof fading? Just get a really good video of that, or if you feel comfortable, hop up there and take a look yourself. Now, when you're finished that underneath and the roof, you wanna walk around the outside. Once again, just take a look at the windows. And you know, it's okay to push on the RV too, because if there's bubbling or if there's water damage, you'll feel soft spots in the side. But look at the windows, do they look okay? Are they cracked? Check the fading on the, not only the siding, but the decals as well, are they chipped off? Are they fading? Also, open up everything on the outside. Storage doors, storage compartments, external shower if it's got one, because storage, as you'll see here, right here's a good example. Not only do we have some fading here on the outside, the seams look like they've been touched up a little bit, but look at the seal that we have in here, how that's come off. And on the inside of the storage too, especially if it's wood, you wanna look for that discoloration to give you an indicator that there's been water damage. This one happens to be bubbled up, so it looks like we had some water underneath. That's an issue there. Look at the corners. Are the corners wet? Check the hinges, check the latch. Just be sure to walk through and check all of that and open everything on the outside. And with your wheels, it's another thing where you really got to reach in and touch, but also take a look. Is there any rust on the rim? Does it look like any bolts are missing? Are they threaded properly? And then reach and feel the tire itself. Does it have good tread? Is it worn out unevenly? Just really get in there and feel around and check it out. You also want to take a look at the awning. You'll be able to tell real quick on the outside if there's any mold or mildew, but roll it all the way out. Look to see if it's been torn. Like for example, this one's actually coming off the frame. You can see where there's a hole there. 
but run it out, make sure it operates, check to see if there's any mold or mildew on there because we'll actually clean the awnings with ammonia before we put an RV out there so that they don't have any of that on there. Then take a look at the stairs. If they're metal stairs or steel stairs, fold them up, make sure they actually work. Is there any rust on there? Are they working? Are they stable? Are they strong? Same thing with the door. Check the seals. Look for that caulk that might be bubbling. Look for any points of entry where mold or mildew may be from the water damage. Open it up and shut it. Make sure that everything fix, works and shuts. Pull on the grab handle and just give it a really good inspection before moving to the back. On the rear, same thing. Check the bumper. If it's got a spare tire, check it out. The tread, see if there's any rust on the wheel. Look at the seals. Look at the top. If you have a backup camera, check that as well. But just look for things where like the seal here is coming off broken lights, whatever it may be, just give it a real good touch test and eye test. Check on the off camp side too. Look at where the terminations are underneath. Make sure everything's okay there. You know what? If it's got a power outlet and a cord, go ahead and have them plug it in for you. Look at all of the spouts. Check your cable connections. You can even take off the panels of like the hot water heater. A lot of times things will get in there, so you wanna make sure there's no bugs or debris inside the burner tube or the flash tube. And then for a slide, you really want to check the seals of the slide, look underneath, get under there. What type of slide is it? Do the mechanisms work? And how are the bulb seals? Are they cracked? Are they dry rotted? Pull them apart and take a look Look at the bolting, if they're rusted out, if it's uneven, if things are chipping off. Same thing with the slide toppers. Just give it a good eye test and make sure everything operates properly. And if you're looking at a motorhome, be sure to check the engine and the compartment. Really give it a good once over, make sure the components are working. Because before we put a motorhome on the lot, we are going to steam clean everything and make sure it works. Now it's time to take a walk inside and this is where smell is going to come into play. Good Lord, this one smells like cabbage and helicopter smoke. I don't want to stay in here. But once you get inside, it's time to check out everything. Once you get inside, open everything, cut on everything. Do the lights work? Does the AC work? Does the microwave work? Run the water, look at the appliances, check the seals around the windows, check the seals around the doors, look for any bubbling. Like for example, we got some bubbling over here in the roof. Check the sponginess of the floor because I notice over here, we got a lot of soft spots on the ground. Pick up the furniture if you can, remove the cushions. Look at the countertop, look at the sinks, open the fridge. I can't stress it enough. Just open everything. What you want to look for is that water damage, that chipping. It's like this right here. We would fix and replace that. If we had an RV that we felt were good enough to put on the lot, we'd actually fix and replace that. In the bathroom, you want to take a look for a lot of things. Look around the tub, look around the toilet. Is there breaking away from the seals? Is there water damage around the edge like we have down there? Also, look at the top. When I was talking about the corners, you see how the bubbling is doing over there on the wall? That's an indicator that moisture has gotten in there. If you see some black dots on the wall, that means that mold and mildew have seeped through. You definitely don't want to deal with that. So just things to look for. Look at the skylight, look at the medicine cabinet, the vent, the fan, make sure that all the connections on the shower works run the water flush the toilet the whole nine just go through put your hands on stuff look for all those indicators where water damage might come into play so hopefully this has kind of helped you with what to look for if you're thinking about buying a used RV but but look if you come to camping world we have put into place some reconditioning standards that are better than anything else in the industry. When somebody wants to drop off an RV, that owner, we're going to walk that unit with them. We're going to go through everything extremely thoroughly. And if there are any issues, we're going to address them and try to fix them on the spot. We're not going to put anything out there that you're not going to want. More importantly, put anything out there that's going to put you in harm's way. So if, for example, it did have rust on the hitch or on the frame, we're going to clean it up. We're going to get it painted. We're going to make everything look good from those seals that might have the caulk bubbling out, put new stuff on there to the awning that we clean with ammonia and water to make sure there's no mold and mildew, the storage doors, the undercarriage, the wheels and the tires, the stairs, the windows, the lights, everything's going to be operational and it's going to be standing tall and looking good before we put it out on the lot. And when you talk about the inside, that's where you're going to see those reconditioning standards 
is the reason our used RVs are so much better than everybody else's. All of the processes put in place to get this thing clean, to get chips repaired, to get doors replaced, hinges replaced, whatever it may be. And not only that, but the fact that we're gonna deep clean and sanitize that RV and more importantly, odor neutralize it. So when you walk in, all you're gonna smell is a good, clean RV that's ready for you to take home. In the bathroom, hey, if that toilet's damaged, we're gonna replace it. We'll even seal it so nobody else can get to it before you do. We're gonna move the furniture out, clean underneath, clean behind. We're even gonna get that under bed storage. Everything that can open, we're gonna open it and clean it. And speaking of the bed, we're also going to give you a new mattress with every used RV because the last thing I know you want to do is sleep on somebody else's mattress and I definitely don't want you sleeping on somebody's mattress. So when you're thinking about picking up that used, take a look at those things. Be sure to walk around and touch it. But more importantly, if you get a chance, come to Camping World and see what a true good used RV is like and how it can enhance your camping experience. If you found this video helpful or just had fun, please do me a favor, click like, subscribe, and notify so the next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. And I hope you enjoyed today's buying guide about what to look for when buying a used RV. I'm Chris Young. If you got any questions, just check out campingworld.com or come into your local camping world. I look forward to seeing you soon.